Welcome back on the second video of this series. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video. And in this video, this is the animation we're gonna do. People will try to discredit you because of your age. So don't give them any excuse or reason. Now remember, I'm going from easiest to most complex. So the video after this is even more complex and it's really good. In case you guys want to buy any of my content editing project files, check my portfolio. You can see the videos and then there's a pay hip link for all of the videos. So if you're new, and you want to learn content editing make sure you turn on the notification and subscribe because there's gonna be many upcoming videos where i make detailed animations and on top of that if you want to become even better my portfolio link in description and so you can buy project files of already done videos along with all the assets to help you get started and if you want any further help make sure to contact me on the social medias linked in the portfolio and yeah let's get started now this is our second video in this series and today i'm going to recreate an illustrated animation that iman gaji made obviously not iman gaji but his editors and in the first video we recreated another animation which was the instagram animation that was put in one of iman gaji's videos in case you missed it here it is now let's get started let's take a quick look at it people will try to discredit you because of your age so don't give them any excuse or reason so you can see it's pretty much animated now these illustrations some of them are taken from websites that give you premium illustration subscription and some of them are custom made however just for the sake of this video we're gonna try to find illustrations as close as possible for free using freepick.com so let's hop over to freepick and here I've already searched finger pointing with arms. You can see their arms and finger is pointing. So we're gonna keep scrolling until we find something that's pretty close. Make sure you have the vectors filter on and the licensing for free. You can see that Iman Gaji's editors may have been inspired by this, but we can't really look at the arms. We want something that displays the arms only one sided, doesn't matter. We can duplicate it. Yes, this one looks good because it has the arms. Obviously, not, not the whole arm, but it has has somewhat part of the arms so let's go ahead with this one okay now that we've downloaded this we need to find the little cage that's over here so let's search up small cage actually if we remove the earth from behind yeah i think this one's good let's go ahead with this one okay now we need to find this man something like this man so we're just gonna search up sad man sitting It's the closest we could find so let's go ahead with it now you need to head over to your files and extract these into their appropriate folders just one by one okay so let me head over to after effects and we make a new composition the composition settings is gonna be 23.97 and just 1080p 1080p extracted all of these let's import them one by one we need the illustrated version for this one to remove the earth and the bird from behind switch this to a shape layer and remove whatever is necessary and over here what was this which one was this one this is the hands so let's take the this version and we're gonna make it as composition obviously that's only if you if they give you the option to do so yeah you can see it. these are like separate now and what else do we have left? We have sad teenager left and illustrated region for this one as well. Now let's add all of these into the composition that we made. And I'm gonna just get rid of all of these. And this one, sorry, here. Okay, so now what you're gonna have to do is, obviously let me just remove the background first, scale this up a bit, make it on half quality, you go to create and then you go to shapes from, now you can see this is all gonna be custom, customizable, so I'm gonna be able to remove this bird, there we go, we don't need these birds, obviously, and you just have to hold V on your keyboard and then go here and click delete and whenever you want to click on a point you click on the pen tool and then you hold V and do it all right we need to remove the earth from behind we won't be able to do that individually so we can come to this group thing yep 
and check what's the shapes of the earth. They're usually in a sequence. All the shapes are in a sequence. So you can see there is some more left. No. Yep. And here we go. The earth is removed. Everything else is for the cage. Now that the cage is done, we need this guy. Um, for this we don't need an illustration, we just need a normal photo because we're not actually gonna customize him or anything like that. We're not gonna animate him. And uh, yeah, let's just add the uh, hands. Let's create shapes from vector for these. Alright. So at this point I just sped it up. I'm removing all the other objects except for the arms that we need. Check the link in description to see how to do this. Okay, and we're back. Obviously, you know, the colors are a bit scuffed, but that doesn't matter to us because the color of the whole thing will be red. It's just going to be filled with red. Now, just for the sake of copying the exact animation, I'm going to take a screenshot and import it into After Effects. I think we're good to go. We have this outline. We're going to copy this into Comp 3. So all the compositions that we need are actually here and we can delete this. Now we need to adjust the position of all of these, but these are everything we basically need. We're going to take what I imported right now, place it up like this. So now for the hands, we're going to work on that later. Let me just do the cage right now, the exact position of the cage. Okay, now we adjusted our cage. Let's just fill our cage with a gradient ramp and it's gonna be red from above black from below let's just put this on focus mode it's somewhat like a mangajis we're gonna do more adjustments later yep it's close now we need to take the hands or the person actually and just make him below this cage in a way where he actually looks below it behind it I mean sorry okay obviously now what we have to do is we're gonna set the person behind the cage to blue color like this so let's come here let's add tint and we're just gonna set the color yep that's good there is this weird ass floor so we have the cage and we have the person we just need these fingers pointing so the longest hand is over here let's do it that way obviously we need to set a gradient like how these colors are set so let's make it gradient ramp gradient ramp perfect and we're gonna make it a bit red from here bit red from there let's make this like that move the pointer and this pointer will be in front it's gonna be fully on the red actually okay it's not too it's, it's kind of close but it's um, it can be better obviously Now the hand is way too big. Um, and we didn't find a longer arm, but I think I have a method to actually f make the arm longer. And I'm gonna set this. Obviously, this guy does not have a, th a thumb. Anyways, to extend the arm, we're gonna take this tool. It's called the puppet tool, and we just want to move one part of it. So we set points to the parts that we don't want that move and a point at the part we want to move perfect now let's duplicate this hand and remove the puppet tool from it and do it for every other position so I'm gonna be back once I position all of them just for your information guys at this point you can see we're, we're basically like the finger is flipped so just to flip it you're gonna go to scale and the one that moves it this way you're gonna set it to minus so we're gonna do minus 177 and now we're good okay I think we're good to go with the hands now we just need to set the correct gradients so let's do these one by one you can see that over here it's very dark so let's make this around somewhere far 
and this somewhat close and we're actually very close to the point where it looks exactly the same wow all right that's that's great we come to this one obviously these are pointers right so if i make this too close then it's going to be too bright you know if i make this one too close then it's going to be too dark so we need to spread it in a way where it looks as close as possible so over here you can see the darkness is towards this side and the brightness is towards the tip of the finger so we're gonna and it's still not bright like even at the tip of the finger it's not bright so we're gonna keep this closer and that one more far and here we got almost a replication of it and we're gonna do the same for this one all right that's good this one that's good that's amazing this can be more dark it's pretty dark here and last but not least it's gonna be here and that's gonna be towards this person almost this is gonna be closer because it's pretty dark there and yep now let's turn this off and see everything we have amazing so we made almost something that's similar I'd say very similar we got a really really good copy I'm not even gonna lie and this line below is obviously the YouTube uh, one thing we can do is we can flip this person as I said the way to do it is to unlink and then just set the second one to minus no in this case to be here all right so now we get it even closer perfect okay so now that we're done with the fingers we need to position them we need to position all of them just like how the mangaji editors did over here you can see it starts from down and it comes all the way to upward so let's do that we have the layers synced obviously the lower ones are first and then these ones come in later these ones like this and these ones like this so now what we need to do is we need to pre-comp each one of these one by one because they have the puppet tool unfortunately and the ones that don't have puppet tool don't need to be pre-comped so just look at the effects control panel yeah this one has puppet for example so I'm gonna pre-comp it gonna name it left top this one is also puppeted so right top just for you guys information you cannot position when you have puppets right see look at what happens to the fingers it gets weird so yep right top and then this one does not need to be pre-comped now let's position all of these click on p on your keyboard keyframe go four frames uh 40 frames forward one two three four amazing and we come again here first and we just do this real quick doesn't need much amazing and this one would be the last one all right <clears throat> now let's f9 come here make sure this is valid speed graph okay so now you can see that come start like they all come at the same time we don't want that we want it to be synced so let's move these like that just two frames we keep moving two frames forward and do it now it should start coming from down amazing it starts coming first from down that's perfect okay so let's check the exact movement again he goes from leaning backward to leaning forward and he's move all right so he keeps moving the whole time however it's just craft in the starting so let's place a puppet let's make him so that he's these parts of the leg don't move um and this this kind of shape is also harder because we're not getting a side view we're getting a 3d view unlike Iman Gaji's editors all right I think yep that would be good that's good so we need starting point would be like this no okay 
now we have keyframes and we're gonna go five frames ahead or six frames ahead one two three four five six sixty frames I mean sorry and we're gonna keyframe all of these again come back here oops select only on one point make sure to do that we don't want it to be weird and his legs are gonna be leaned backward as well we're gonna add a bit of movement just a bit of movement and hope it would look good okay um that's good that's good that's good that's not bad and obviously we don't have it as illustration so we're gonna make whatever we can out of the puppet tool here we go it's actually pretty good if you work harder on placing the puppets exactly it's gonna look better and we have a 3d view so it can't be as good as this because this one is like a a 2d view within a 3d it's like how you make a cube on the paper and it looks 3d but it's actually 2d i think we're done with the animation parts let's let's make this sharper make it come like yeah that's perfect that's perfect that's amazing let's move this a bit more amazing amazing now let's see how it is okay as you can see there is a film grain overlay which I used yesterday now let's create a adjustment layer and add transform to it we're gonna make the transform like this come from 130 right we're gonna make the scale very sharp extremely sharp it's gonna have constant movement and it's also gonna come in fast let's just make it start from 115 okay and we're gonna add another transform that makes a constant scale from 100 to 90 and we should be good to go now obviously let's do it from 110 to 90 110 to 9 110 to 100 so that the scale doesn't actually go out so here we go we just made an animation oops yep this is what we need to do here we go we just made the animation of a manga G which looks extremely similar and we just need to add in some other factors so let's head over to these hands go to animation composer and just head over to presets and we can go to 2d layer transformation or a constant position or rotation so we're gonna apply this obviously it's very strong so we're gonna make the intensity 10 let's look at it now I did it on only on this hand so let's look at that hand only Yep, it looks pretty good. Actually, it looks very similar. It looks like they might have done the exact same thing. So let's add this to all these layers. No, not all the layers. Only the hand. All the hands, except for the one that we already added to. I'm gonna click apply. We're gonna make the stand and look at. Let's look at it now. You can see there is constant movement. Amazing. One last thing that is so important is the posturize time now i have a preset for my posturize time and i'm gonna allow you guys to look at the settings here we go i added it it's a posturize time that makes it that makes the laggy effect the laggy type effect and then we have turbulent displacement for both turbulent displace yeah we have it too low should be on 16 for sure and look at it now obviously it's rendering so it's gonna be slower amazing so let me just pre-comp all of this and make it come as an a position rather than just suddenly come for example imagine we have a video behind it's perfect you can see there's also movement on 
the whole thing now this turbulent displacement and yup I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next video of this series peace out